All right, welcome back to Hot Topics TV, y'all. Y'all already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. And this one is hot, piping hot. We've been waiting for this, and I almost want to say yay and clap my hands and stomp my feet. The spirit of Young Dolph is at work. That man's spirit was, I told y'all from the first video I did, that man's spirit is not going to rest until those who did this to him were brought to justice. And here we go. I don't know if you're a spiritual person, so you don't have to believe what I say, but that's the way I feel. All right, then. The two men who police believe are responsible for Young Dolph's murder are reportedly in custody at the moment. According to Fox 13 Memphis reporter Jeremy Peer, he put this message out on Twitter. He's who's been covering the case since the fatal shooting November of 2021. He's been covering the case and he just put this out on Twitter that they are both in custody. Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith. Cornelius has been apprehended by law enforcement as well. Not just Justin Johnson alone, but we're going to talk about where they got both people at. If you watch the video I just posted today about the new music video that Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop, put out. You heard me say in that video that once they catch one of them, they're going to catch the other one because everybody thinks they're tough. I'm a stand up guy, 10 toes down. I'm about the street life, G code, never snitch. That's all a lie. Majority of them that get caught, once they start talking those football numbers to them, they start telling. Okay, so you want to just serve this whole life sentence by yourself? You're looking at about 80 years. Or you could give up the other person who did it with you and we'll see what we could do to make sure you do about 15, 20 and then you come home. Shit, you're looking at 80 versus 20 and eh, I'm telling, right? And they start to tell. How else would you explain how they picked up both of them in two different parts of the country almost simultaneously? Pierce's tweet read simply, breaking both young Dolph's accused gunmen are in custody. Justin Straight Drop Johnson and Cornelius Smith, parenthesis, the gunman that was wearing the Bass Pro hat, all in custody. Now, remember, if you've seen the police surveillance video, you know that Cornelius or whoever the hell was under that mask was all masked up, hands covered. We couldn't even tell if it was a black person or a white person. We had no idea. So how the hell did they know that that was Cornelius? Smith wearing the damn Bass Pro hat unless Justin Straight Drop Johnson told. Johnson was captured by U.S. Marshals in Indiana on Tuesday, January 11th, which is today, while Smith was also arrested shortly after and booked into Shelby County Jail. Shelby County Jail is in Memphis. Johnson Straight Drop got caught in Indiana by Fugitive Task Force U.S. Marshals. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, U.S. Marshals, and Memphis Police Department have been on a nationwide manhunt for Johnson for less than a week. Shit, I think it's for more than a week. Well, it's for less than a week because they actually found out who he was less than a week ago. And they put out all his information out to the public, had us looking out for him. He's armed and dangerous and all this other stuff. And then the manhunt was on. Johnson is straight drop. The one that had the audacity to drop a music video the day that he said he was going to turn himself into the police. He put that message out himself on social media. That he was going to turn himself into the police on this particular day. Everybody was waiting for him to turn himself in. I said he was not going to turn himself in and they're going to have to go get him. And they did. He did not turn himself in. He took it as a moment of publicity to use all that publicity 
to give attention to his new music project and actually dropped a music video. A music video by which, by the way, which he was talking about how much of a stepper he is and he's a killer and he is cold and violent. If you listen to the lyrics within the video itself, he's pretty much actually almost telling on himself. However, Johnson faces charges of first degree murder and theft of property between ten thousand and sixty thousand dollars hmm i don't know if that means he took jewelry or anything from the scene of young Dolph's murder but i don't know where the theft of property between ten thousand and sixty thousand dollars comes from i know that he is charged with the murder prior to young Dolph's murder johnson was arrested for a triple shooting also at Billy Hardwick's All-Star Lane Bowling Alley in 2017. Johnson's five-year sentence for that shooting ended after a mere five months in lockup when a judge signed off on his release. I don't know if his family does voodoo. I don't know if the judge is a part of his family or knows his family or had some kind of remorse or some kind of good feelings about him or something. But it's very rarely you hear about a young black man taking a gun, a assault rifle, shooting into a crowd, shooting up a bowling alley, and then goes to court and is sentenced. And then, and he hit multiple people. He didn't just fire in the air. He actually shot multiple people. And he was given five years for that. I've never heard of that. And then... Five months into that five-year sentence, the judge signed off on his release. Damn. It's called the Department of Corrections, not the Department of Punishment, is what Judge Chris Craft of Shelby County Criminal Court said at the time when he signed off on Johnson's release. I think Judge was smoking a lot of weed and hitting the bumping a lot of lines the night before. He was kind of confused. I don't think he realized what case he was uh, s presiding over on that particular day. I'm going to say it again. This man shot up a bowling alley and shot multiple people. I think he shot about three people in that bowling alley. He got found guilty. He went to court. He got sentenced to only five years. And then five months into that five years, a judge says this is called the Department of Corrections, not the Department of Punishment, and signed his paperwork to have him released. He then approved the motion to suspend Johnson's five-year prison sentence and let him out on parole, right? Nearly two months after Young Dolph's murder and two days after Johnson was identified, the aspiring rapper hopped on Instagram to proclaim his innocence. He also vowed to turn himself in on Monday, January 10th, which is what we were waiting for, but he failed to turn himself in. Instead, he dropped a raw, gritty, braggadocious, music video which i said was taunting the police and they were going to find him because check it all they have to do is follow his digital footprint and they will know whoever uploaded that video has connections to him even if he's not the one that and the video obviously was professionally shot so they're going to trace it back really quickly and find out who just uploaded that video what ip address that video came from hit that door Boom, boom, boom. Who's here? Where's Johnson? Why are you uploading this video? Blah, blah. I know you have business with them. And then from there, they're able to follow everything back. $15,000 reward on his head. But I don't know if anybody is going to be getting that $15,000. Or maybe they, got, they want their money, but they're going to remain anonymous. Or maybe law enforcement just found them on their own. Young Dolph was shot and killed on November 7th of 2021 as he was picking up cookies at Makeda's. Makeda's, a cookie store, a black owned business store that he was trying to help to raise their numbers up using his celebrity card. You know what I mean? Young Dolph shops here. This is his favorite cookie joint. I'm going to go over there and buy some cookies too. 
I might even see him there one of these days because he said that he always stopped right here whenever he comes home from off the road. He was talking good about Makeda's cookies. And then, boom, he got killed right there inside of Makeda's cookies while ordering his cookies. Crazy, right? A lot of people got sent into mourning. Dolph left behind his woman and his children. And it's just a sad look all around, right? But this is what we've been waiting for. And now, let's take it to court. Let's hear all the evidence that the state has against them. And I hope if it is true that they are, because it's still innocent till proven guilty, right? And I don't know who was under those masks. But the law knows what evidence they have that led them to these two. So let's see as the more evidence comes out, we will be doing more follow-ups and we will follow this all the way through to sentencing. I'm expecting a life sentence, especially for straight drop. Leave your comments in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next video. It's a joyous moment. Hot Topics TV. I'm out. Peace.